Hi everybody and welcome to another Let's Draw. Today we're going to draw a gorilla to go along with the story Ivan, the remarkable true story of the shopping mall gorilla. And for those of you who have read The One and Only Ivan by Catherine Applegate, this book is also by Catherine Applegate, as you can see here. And it is a true story. So... I hope that you enjoyed the story when we read it, and now it's time to draw a gorilla. Today, you're only gonna need a black. Now, I'm using a black marker to do all of my outline drawing first, and then I'm using crayons to color. The only two colors you're gonna need are black and gray. And remember, you can use whatever materials you have at home, colored pencils, markers, um, or crayons. All right, let's get started. Remember at any point, this is a video, so you can pause it. You don't have to say, stop, wait, I'm not there yet. All right, towards the top of the paper, I'm going to draw an arc, like a rainbow. And then I'm gonna connect the two ends of the rainbow, like this. Now, just beyond that line, I'm gonna extend it a little bit further on each side. And then from those two ends, I'm going to draw a U shape. that connects both of those ends. Now within here, I'm going to create two upside down U's or rainbows or arcs. And then we're gonna draw two circles inside. Now these are creating the nostrils for the gorilla. Okay, next we're gonna draw where the eyes are going to go. So from about right here up, over and back down. Now you're going to draw a line straight across. This is going to kind of create a brow or the top of where his eyes are going to be. And I'm going to do a U shape on one side and a U shape on the other side. And then we're going to give a dot in each of those eyes. Okay, now we're ready to draw the head part, which is gonna go from about right here up in a curved shape and around down. All right, we're gonna also add some ears in. Lots of arcs or upside down U's or rainbow shapes in this one. Okay, now because he is a big hulking gorilla with a big body, I'm gonna show that by making the body actually begin up here, be just under the ear in a curve down to the edge of the paper. And this gives the illusion that he is quite massive. And if you want to, you could add a couple strands of hair here and there just to let whoever's looking at the picture know that he is fuzzy. And you're ready to color our massive gorilla. Now I'm gonna color everything black except for the facial features which have a skin on them, so they're gonna be gray. So I'm gonna go ahead and color those first. Remember as you're coloring to flood all that white space with lots of color. You don't want a lot of white space in your illustration because you're trying to make your work look complete and finished. So I'm starting here with the jaw. It's a big space to color in so I can go pretty quickly and cover a lot of space. Remember coloring in one direction generally creates a better look but I trust you to do whatever technique works best for you. Get along close to the edge. All right, now I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and color in his nostrils. Just so that I can easily color over now with gray. So I can go quickly. And even if I go over those black nostrils with the gray, it won't matter because you won't be able to tell. 
So see, as I'm coloring, I don't have to worry about coloring over those black nostrils. Okay, now I'm gonna do the part that leads to his eyes, also gray, but I'm being careful not to color his eyes in gray. I want them to stand out as white, so I'm gonna leave those uncolored and get all this space in between. And then of course, above the eyes, I'm gonna color that gray. It's the skin as well. And then the last thing to color gray is going to be his ears. And I'm just going to go ahead and color both parts of those ear of the ear gray. You could maybe do one part darker gray and another part lighter gray, but just for the sake of ease, I'm going to just color all of it the same color gray. All right, now you're ready to color the rest of the gorilla which it's going to be black. He's got black fur. And so I'm gonna start here at the head because the body is gonna be so much to color. Remember, if you don't want to watch the rest of this video because you're like, Mr. Rawls, I've got it. I've already know how to do this. Of course, you can stop the video at any time and just color. What's really cool is Ivan was moved once he was relocated from the shopping mall zoo. He was relocated to Atlanta, Georgia, which is where I live, to our zoo, where he got to finish the remainder of his life in a more suitable environment for a gorilla rather than a shopping mall. What's cool is that a lot of uh, zoos have webcams so that you can check in on the animals. Atlanta Zoo, I know, has webcams for the pandas. I'm not sure if they have them for the gorillas. Um, and another zoo that you might want to check out online is the San Diego Zoo. They have tons of webcams, so you can check in on almost all of the animals. It's really cool. You can see them waking up, swimming, roaming around, eating, playing with each other. It's really, really cool. So check out the San Diego Zoo website and you'll see um, right on their homepage where you can view their different webcams of the animals that you wanna see. All right, to do the body. Now the body's gonna take up the rest of the page. So again, this is just gonna be a lot of coloring, but this is where a lot of kids tend to get a little bit lazy because they just want to be finished or done. So remember, you're trying to create a piece of artwork that you can be proud of and that is going to look finished and complete. So here's not time to get messy or sloppy. And just use this as kind of some therapy time to relax your mind and just fade away into the coloring. I've always found this to be kind of soothing and it relaxes me. Maybe it does the same for you. Of course, some people get stressed out about doing this kind of thing. Great thing is though, no one's making you do this. You can just enjoy it. It's not for a grade. It's just to create a cool picture and relax and unwind. Try and go across to the edges first because I don't want to get sloppy and mess up and go over the edges. But now once I got to the edge, I can go a lot faster and with big, broader strokes to color in a lot more at one time, as you can see here. I'm going to be careful as I come to the edge of another part like this jawline, so I'm gonna color just along this edge 
so that I don't get sloppy and color over into it and make black marks where it should be just gray. Okay, and then I can go back and do those big, broader strokes. Now, if you don't want to fill in the entire page, because it's a lot of black to color in, you could color in just down to a bottom edge. It doesn't have to be the bottom of the paper, but enough that it would give the impression that this is in fact a gorilla. So if I was gonna do that, it might look like this. Where I'm just gonna finish it off right here. And it still looks neat and it still looks finished, but it's preventing me from having to color in the entire page. And there you go, you have your shopping mall gorilla, Ivan. I hope that you enjoyed this directed drawing. And again, I'd love to see your pictures, so don't forget to share them in the Google Classroom or share them by email. And I'll see you next time.